Welcome back to Morgan's video blog with writing tips from the pros and of course my own writerly musings. Today I'm here with prepping for Balticon. How do I do this again? Two years ago when we all still thought the pandemic was a matter of weeks, I got conned into running social media for Balticon, Baltimore's four day celebration of everything science fiction and fantasy. While I'd attended the convention several years and I'd worked other conventions, I'd never worked this one before. Now they've added publicity under my purview as well. And while I've got two virtual Balticons under my belt, things are gonna look a lot different this year. We're going to do a four day convention online and in person. So I'm not going to be just sitting at my desk alone, obsessively responding to every chat or message on every platform while streaming videos. I'm going to be trying to keep up with all this stuff while attending stuff in person. Now, I don't kid myself that my department is critical to the flow of events at the convention. Social media and publicity can only do something if algorithms actually show stuff to people who are actually interested. But if I can do just a little more to help any single panel or event run smoother, uh, if I can help people find stuff they would enjoy that they would have otherwise missed, I'll consider it a win. So step one, I got to pack. Let's see. Um, I started with the personal stuff for suitcase number one. Yes, there's more than one. I have four days worth of clothing and costumes and toiletries and vitamins and meds and whatever. I have a notebook and pens and business cards because networking. Um, I have snacks and drinks and a bottle opener. I have my pretty lanyard because I don't like the boring ones the cons have. I have my Vax card and my ID so I can get my badge. I've got my sunglasses because I'm going to be driving to Baltimore in the afternoon. I have my foam roller because I, I have my back. Um, I remembered to pack my Woodcraft Dragon that's going to be in the art show. I'm super excited. I've never had anything in the art show before. Um, I have a folder with some of my poetry, a short story of mine, and my opening chapter slash synopsis just in case somebody wants to look at my writing. Um, I have masks. I have pretty ones to layer with surgical masks, plus my see-through one for being on panels and talking to people who need to lip read. And I still need to charge it, but I'm bringing my portable phone charger. Next up in my um, shoulder bag, I have my laptop and the cables, my wireless mouse, or will after I close this up, uh, my webcam, um, yeah. Obviously, I'm bringing a mouse because otherwise I have to do the touchpad and I have standards. Uh, my microphone, my lights, my laptop stand, and obviously it's all going in the shoulder bag. So, um, and then of course, there's all the stuff for the convention and not just me as a panelist. Um, in suitcase number two, plus a bag for drinks. I'm bringing some non-alcoholic drinks for my first timers and friends social hour that I got on the schedule. Um, I might pick up snacks. I'm not sure. Um, I have a bag of coloring books and coloring pencils for my crafting and coloring chillax -thon, um on Saturday night. Um, I have puzzles to loan to the quiet room. I have clothing and craft supplies to donate to C3, the costume contest challenge on Friday night. Um, I'm bringing my air filter to use at parties and maybe loan to the con in between just because I want some air filtration. Um, I have folders for the press kits. I um, have uh, designed and printed out signs for my event and I have painter's tape to hold up those signs. So. 
What did I do this week in order to prepare besides pack? Well, for the con, I did the final ad push. I did the last pre-con newsletter. I designed graphics and scheduled updates and big ticket items to the socials. I prepped the outreach com committee signups. Um, I did the final staff meeting and updates, uh, finalized like 10 documents, coordinated with the press. We have press. Very exciting. Um, I monitored and responded to, I think, all of the social media channels and inboxes. I, I think I'm all caught up right now. Uh, I prepped stuff for the Balticon 57 announcements because I know who's coming. Um, and I ran a couple Zoom host training sessions. So that's on the con side. On the personal side, I checked out the schedule to see what I wanted to attend. I did my best to resist from volunteering to fill in all of the staff openings, but I, I did get cashier trained for registration because they're shorts. Everybody's short staffed. Um, I did my weekly author spotlight, obviously my vlog post, and I will be prepping Friday's post because I won't have time after this. Um, I scheduled my own social media and where to find me right now posts because otherwise I will completely forget. I will be doing stuff and not talking about it. Um, I played with Catechist today, and I'm trying to make sure he is set up for success while I'm gone. Um, I got a massage because my neck just isn't doing great, so just got to stretch. Uh, hydrating. I need to drink more water before bed. I scheduled a family visit in the wrong direction because timing is everything. A, I watered my plants. I bought my parking and I'm going to grab some gas and then hit the road. Now, I know I'm forgetting something. Let me know in the comments below. What do you do to prepare for a trip and or convention? Is there anything obvious I'm forgetting? I know there is. Let me know. And if you're coming to the convention, I can't wait to see you. If you can't come, you can always attend virtually. And if not, I'll see you again next week with more writing tips and writerly musings. Bye-bye.